Hello. I want to introduce to you the class that uh, you'll be taking, Systematic Theology 3. Uh, it is Soteriology and Christology. That's what the class is called. And like so many of our classes that have this you know, dual name there, re really the, uh, the class is, is one and the same. I mean, if you think of what Christology is, it is the study of Christ, the study of who, of who Christ is. And I think, for instance, of Mark uh, 10, 45, where Jesus says, I did not come to be served, but to serve and to give my life as a ransom for many. So if Jesus is there d defining um, why he has come to earth as giving his life for a ransom, as a ransom for many, it is therefore impossible to study who Jesus is without studying um, the the, the salvation that he has come to give, the, the giving his life as a ransom for many. You know, if you're going to study Christology, the person of Christ, you're obviously going to study why he came, why he became incarnate. And that is uh, for the clear purpose of bringing salvation, dying as a ransom for many, uh, dying in the place of, that's what that word means, uh, in the place of many. So it's impossible to study Christology without also studying soteriology, that is the doctrine of salvation. But it goes the other way as well. If you want to study soteriology, the doctrine of salvation, you have to study Christology. And I think, for instance, of Romans chapter 1, particularly verse 3, where Paul is talking about the gospel, and then he says very, very clearly the gospel concerning the Son, concerning God's Son. So, so what is the gospel by which we are saved? 1 Corinthians 15, the gospel by which we are saved is the gospel concerning the Son. And as Paul explains in uh, Romans uh, chapter 1 there, the Son with a particular reference to his uh, redemptive historical uh, role, his, his coming to earth, uh, the incarnation uh, according to uh, the flesh. He's a seed of, uh, of the seed of David. And then his resurrection according to the Spirit, how he is, he is raised and vindicated and shown to be um, God's true Son. Uh, so the point is... Um, Christology and soteriology are, are intertwined. And, and we, for the purpose of this class, we are going to start with one, namely Christology, and work our way to the other, soteriology. Um, but, but again, when we're doing that, we're not talking about two totally different things. We're talking about really the same thing that's irreducibly connected, but we are you know, just dividing it up for a better understanding. The other thing I want to say here is why this study is important. Why is this class important? Now, every class in the curriculum is important, and uh, every class a professor teaches is, often thinks, well, this is the most important class, and, and I don't want to make a claim to that. But I do want to say that, that we get, when we study the person of Christ and the work of Christ, we are, are coming to a subject that could not be more personal. It could not be more 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 important for our our relationship with God. Yeah, you know, I think of when Jesus says to the Pharisees, what do you think of the Christ? Whose son is he? What do, what do you think of who I am, Jesus is saying. He's saying that to, to the people out there, you know, the Pharisees. They're not in his inner circle. They don't get him. And he is telling his, the people out there that what they think of him really matters. But it's not just the people out there that need to deal with who Christ is. It is also his disciples, because he turns that question to the disciples as well. He says, who does the world say that the Son of Man is? And then he says, but who do you say that I am? I mean, he turns that, atten that question to the disciples, uh, causing, making them answer. And of course, you know, uh, Peter answers, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. He gets the answer right. Um, but the point there is that what you think of Christ is really the most important thing about you. And if you look at what a whole society thinks of Christ, if you look at what a whole people think of Christ, you will see their, their deepest concerns. You will see what they, they think life is ultimately about. You will see where their idols are because they will be in the places that they get Christ wrong. The question who is Jesus is the most important question we can answer. And it's not just for out there. It is not just for the world out there. It is also for us. 
we need to answer that question. We need to deal with that. So the way this course is going to progress, we're going to look at Christology in the beginning, and then you know, looking at the person of Christ, who is he? Divine nature is human nature. Um, how those two in natures uh, interact in, in the person of Christ, that's what we're going to be looking at. And then we will look at the kind of salvation that he brings. Given that this is the Christ, what kind of salvation does he bring? That will be the, the second portion of this class. So that just lays out for you some of what this class is about. I hope you will, you will find this class helpful and beneficial. And, and as we look at this material, yes, we, we will be, I hope and pray, and if, it will be my goal, that we will be rigorously academic. We will be, we will be careful. We will be good students of God's word and the, the treasures of theology that have been deposited in church history for us to mine. We will, we will do that. But we will be also devotional. We will be personal. We will say, okay, who is this Jesus that I may know him better and worship him? So I look forward to going through this class with you.